Today's video is on five mythical creatures that might actually exist. Number five, Chupacabra. Stories of the Chupacabra first began spreading in Puerto Rico in the 1990s, where eyewitnesses supposedly saw a two-legged creature with bulging eyes, huge spikes along its back, and massive claws. Locals blamed the creature for a series of gruesome goat deaths where the animals had been sucked dry of their blood, and thus the legend was born. People have tried to dismiss the Chupacabra as a work of fiction, often referring to the movie Species as the inspiration for the described features of the creature. But in the 2000s, a new type was being described, this time as a hairless dog with four legs. Rather than just being a story, bodies have also been claimed to have been found across southern U.S. states, which invariably turn out to be coyotes, dogs, or raccoons. Despite these explanations, there are still a number of livestock found each year with the telltale signs of a chupacabra attack. There are many who believe the creatures are real, and it's only a matter of time until their existence is proved. Number 4. The Thunderbird The Thunderbird is a creature from Native American legend, where it's believed to be a bird that's so large it can carry a whale in its talons. They are mentioned in several traditions from the plains to the northwest coast and are blamed for thunder and lightning storms that strike soon after their appearance. But how realistic is the idea of a bird so big? There have been several reports of sightings of a bird in Alaska that had a wingspan of at least 20 feet. That's more than eight feet longer than the wingspan of a wandering albatross, which is the species currently thought to have the largest span of all. Some scientists have tried to explain this by claiming that the sightings are actually of a Stellar's sea eagle, a species that's much larger and heavier than a bald eagle, but is normally only found in Russia and Japan. Could the Thunderbird legends have been inspired by these eagles taking a diversion from their normal route, or could it be that there's still a monster bird living in the icy mountains in such small numbers that they're hardly ever seen? Number 3. The Bunyip The legend of the Bunyip originates in Australia, where they have been a part of Aboriginal culture for many years. They are described as being water beasts that dwell in all types of marine environment that emit a loud, booming sound and are big enough to attack and eat a human. Accounts of the physical appearance vary, with features such as feathers, fins, tusks, claws, beards, duck bills, and even a stomach mouth being mentioned a number of times. The name means devil or evil spirit in the Aboriginal language, and it has been blamed for many deaths over the years. Although there is a suggestion that it may be a benevolent being responsible for protecting the Australian wildlife. While the idea of the bunyip may sound like a catch-all for a range of unidentified creatures, researchers believe that there could be a basis in truth, and the creature may still exist today. In 1839, members of an expedition found the remains of a creature called a diprotodon, which was an enormous rhino-sized marsupial, similar to a wombat, that used to live on the continent. The plant eaters would have been scary to anyone who got close, and are thought to have died out between 20 and 40,000 years ago long after the arrival of Aboriginal people. Their ancestors, therefore, would have encountered them, so the legends could well be based in fact. And since the outback of Australia is so vast with so few people, who knows if there's a population of creatures still alive somewhere today? Number 2. Dragons Dragons have featured in mythology from cultures across the globe, from China and Japan to England, Iceland, and New Zealand. But beyond the idea that they represent our basic fears, could there be truth to the legend, and is there a chance that they are actually real? The descriptions of dragons vary depending on the source you look at, but every story has one thing in common. They are reptilian. The obvious place to look, then, is some creature related to the dinosaurs. After all, Chinese explorers have long mistaken dinosaur fossils for those of dragons. And there are a number of dinosaurs that have been named after dragons, such as the dragon of Qingzheng. Of course, the dinosaurs have long died out, but the closest relatives today are birds, which also have wings as depicted in the dragon lore of some cultures. There are actually two distinct types of dragons, again, depending on the sources you look at. The first are giant snake-like beasts with long bodies, no legs, and that slither along, 
This is how the long from China are described, as well as the draken from ancient Greece and the worm from England. Fossil evidence has been found of monstrous snakes having once roamed the earth, particularly in South America, and there were many who believe that these beasts are still present today in the deep undergrowth. As far as the other types of dragons, the large winged reptiles, there's no reason why they couldn't exist. There have been large flying creatures, such as the Asdarkid pterosaurs, which had wingspans of 36 feet and show that flight isn't something simply reserved for smaller creatures. While physically, there very well could be a creature that looks like a dragon, it's unlikely it'll be as magical as the ones from myths, though. There aren't any known animals that breathe fire, but there are some lizards that can spit poison or acid at their prey, which would have the same effect. Even with this, they're much more likely to be instinctual creatures, and nowhere near as intelligent or as keen on gold as they are in the stories. Number 1. The Kraken The Kraken is one of the largest and most feared creatures from mythology. Often used in maritime folklore to explain the unexplainable, it has its roots in Nordic folklore, where it was said to patrol the waters between Norway, Iceland, and Greenland. Upon finding a ship, the Kraken would attack with its humongous arms, and if this wasn't enough to sink the vessel, it would swim around in circles to form a giant whirlpool. It had a taste for human flesh and would be accompanied in the water with large shoals of fish. The earliest account of the Kraken is from Kingsfair in Norway in 1180, and it's believed by many to have been inspired by a real encounter, not with a Kraken as such, but with a giant squid. We're only just starting to understand more about these mysterious creatures, and it's quite possible that they actually are as potentially deadly as the Kraken's known for being. Because they tend to live in the deep ocean, they grow to extreme sizes. The largest ones are thought to be about 43 feet in length, with a mantle that's 6 foot 7 inches long, and an eye that's the largest in the animal kingdom at 11 inches across. The first images of a giant squid in the wild were only taken in 2004, and there have only been two times when one has been caught on video. It has been claimed by some eyewitnesses that they can grow much larger, maybe as much as 66 feet, and if this was the case, then they could almost certainly hassle a ship and pull it into the water like legends say. Most cryptozoologists believe that the oceans are where the true monsters of the world live, and with so many of the waters still unexplored, it's quite possible that the kraken and other giant species are roaming the murky depths. Honorable Mentions The Loch Ness Monster The Loch Ness Monster is, without a doubt, the most famous mythological creature that people still believe to exist. But despite extensive searches, no proof has ever been found. This doesn't mean, however, that Nessie is simply a legend, because there are still several theories that suggest she could actually be real. There have been more than a thousand sightings of the creature, with the first recorded one happening in 565 AD. It's been suggested that the creature is a prehistoric pterosaur that got caught in the lock when waters receded, or even that the lock is connected to the ocean by a network of deep tunnels, and that she returns when it's time to lay her eggs. A recent exploration took more than 250 water samples from various areas and depths of the lock and matched the DNA that was collected against a database. The researchers that carried out this study say that the evidence they found shows that there's one plausible theory for all of the sightings of the Loch Ness Monster, and they intend to announce their findings in late 2019. Bigfoot Ape-like beasts have been a part of myth and legend throughout the world for centuries from ones that live in jungles to others that live in the snow, swamps, or even underwater. The most famous of all, though, is Bigfoot, who is an American version of the legend that's taken hold since the 1950s. While most people think it's a made-up story, there are those who are absolutely convinced that Bigfoot truly exists, and it's actually taken so seriously that the FBI has kept a file on him since 1976. Could they be the missing link between man and other animals? or perhaps even an offshoot species from their own lineage. One thing's for certain, we haven't searched every place that Bigfoot could hide, and until we do, there's always a chance that they exist.
I hope you all enjoyed today's video narrated by Zach this time. Be sure to subscribe for more and check out some of our recent uploads.